Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is spent on cactus there. We pay for a thick and thin, she already fixed on halfway there. Brown and back, gonna change my mind, I was halfway there. 100 meters, I just put nine gallon a sprint on. 100 eaters, it won't fit in one SUV. SOS, somebody rescue me, I got too many, I got too many, many, and I got, they could last me the next two weeks. Alright, let's send the address to please SUV, the outside white, the inside brown like Michael Jack More time and better line and trap Spend like I don't even like my stack Pistol came on an Irish ferry, let go and it sound like a tap dance The way that I pull, no yellow, the ref had to give me a black card Who did what we're doing with rap? Man couldn't sell out his show after all them years of doing a cat sprint off Two gallon of rap, pin off Two men in my line, heard one of my things dating P, did he need 20% or whatever shit back? Outside, my head in my hand she said no the one on your birth certificate Your boyfriend ran from that diamond test cause they weren't legitimate She Turkish Cypriot, but her car's Brazilian I want her, my bro wants her for you I'm cheap, still hit a chip like yo can I borrow your Netflix She a feminist, she think I'm sexist, twisting my words I think she dyslexic, give me my space, I'm intergalactic Before I give you my Insta password, I'll give you the pin to my Amit <laughs> Alright, you see stainless steel is platinum Dinner table, I got manners, huh? T-shirt tucked in, napkin Still loading, that's the caption I've only amounted a minimal fraction Eat good, I got indigestion There's snow in my hood, no aspirin Can't get rid of my pain with aspirin They've just came in the Aston I'm making that may back when using They're trying to insult my intelligence Sometimes I may act stupid I never went to uni, I've been on a campus Selling cocaine to students Hey guys, my name is Carmel Ford And welcome back to my channel Mark my words Obviously, as y'all can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a 2024 glow up, basically a maintenance vlog. And it has been a long time since your girl has done anything to pamper herself. Like, I haven't gotten my hair, nails, eyebrows, chin, everything waxed. Like, I haven't done any of that. And over, I want to say, a month and a half, maybe about to be two months. I just got my nails done, as y'all saw, and they are so cute. I got these little airbrush, they're called airbrush nails, but some people I know refer to them as aura nails but these are so cute and they're green oh it's just giving danny phantom that's all i can think about when i see this nail color like i think danny phantom when he gets stuck in the little laboratory door like this is just so fire and if i want to check out my nail tag her page is nails by bambi i think it's like three or four eyes but i'll be sure to like link it somewhere but she is so talented and especially if you live in like the east orlando i want to say like ucf area she's really close to there check her out 10 out of 10 i love it but other than that i just got home my point was at 9 i got here around 11 30 so it took about like three ish hours to get my nails done but i also do have a acrylic pedicure schedule and this is my first one so we're trying something new like this is my first time ever doing anything so bold with my nails except for my birthday nails those were bold too but not as bold as these actually no they were bolder on mine i've never done acrylic toes before but i do know that it is a dry pedicure so i kind of wanted to come home immediately after before i started filming i scrubbed my feet down just to make sure that they were extra soft there were no calluses no nothing just trying to get them all good and ready to go so when she starts this dry pedicure she's at least working on a clean base of feet i think i'm gonna get the pedicure in black just to match the nails i did make an appointment at the european wax center to get my eyebrows done because i really liked how she did them although it is 21 dollars to get my brows done i think it's worth it i'm sorry threading just isn't eating the way wax does like i like the look of damn you just ripped the skin off my brows kind of thing my brows haven't been done longer than everything else and i just feel like they're so overgrown that a fresh wax would just look even more crisp on my brows right now and especially because tomorrow i'm scheduled to try a new style Basically tomorrow I'm going for a bust down, but I'm not doing a frontal and I'm not doing a 4x4 closure. I'm actually doing a 2x6. It's basically a smaller width and it's a bit longer like your part is towards the back. So I'm going to see how that looks. The girl who does it, she's like super, super talented. But I basically found her through my explore page. She had this viral video of her doing a 2x6 closure. And mind you, I am not a hair girly. I can definitely maintain a 4x4, but I definitely cannot maintain a frontal or whatever. So the fact that there's a 2x6 option and it still kind of looks like like you have a frontal on i'm kind of excited to try but anyways my phone is at three and it is now 142 i actually came home because i wanted to eat something because i honestly just rushed out of here i dead ass woke up at eight 
and like showered, did my thing, but then I had to rush. My outfit was ass and I just wasn't feeling it. So now I'm hungry and I need to put something in my stomach because this is like an hour and a half drive. Why am I saying hour and a half? A half hour drive. And then I'm gonna get with y'all when I get to the nail place. All right y'all, so I just got in my car and I got a notification that I got a package. I've actually been waiting for this for a hot minute. But there it is. Um, it's this phone case that I ordered from Urban Sophistication. It's like basically a puffer, a North Face for your phone. And I just can't wait to unbox it. So give me one second, I'm gonna show it to y'all because I've been waiting for this all week. Oh my God, is this packaging not like the cutest thing ever? And this is the case itself. It's like a 3D puffer material. Honestly, this thing is like really high quality. I can tell if I drop my phone in this, like it wouldn't break. I think I got mine on sale for 50, but I do believe they priced for like 70 something. I don't know, but it's mad cute. Like, is this not the cutest thing ever? And it fits my phone so good. So I am back in my house. We are actually going to get into the next step of this whole 2024 glow up. So as y'all saw, I got my eyebrows and I got my toes done earlier. Everything is so cute. I'm starting to feel put together, especially my eyebrows, bro. I haven't had these touched up in months. And when my eyebrow lady saw me, she was like, bro, like, what did you do? Like, how long did you go without seeing me? And like, what is it? I took the time to like not do them because A, I have no tail here. That's been a given since birth. I've never had a tail here. But this, I had to wait for my tail to grow back. Like the arching and she made them thinner. Like, thank God, because my natural eyebrows, I'm sorry y'all, they are bush rats. When I say bush rats, I mean bush rats. Like they're huge. And sometimes when I do my makeup, they look a little too big when they're undone. So they're all thinned out. They're so cute. I never get the middle of my eyebrows done though because that just really shapes my face and like plays a role in whether they look uneven. So I totally leave it alone. But anyways, it's time for me to finish off my wax because I am the only person that I allow to do my chin and upper lip because I do suffer from herstism. Luckily, I think I've managed it well enough. I have been trying using spearmint oil this week. Let me tell y'all something, that shit burns, but I can see how like, it's definitely slowing down the growth, helping keep the ingrowns away from me. I also just started using these ingrown hair pads. Now mind you, I just waxed my face on Monday, but my hair does grow back pretty fast, which is completely normal when you have the condition that I do. Also from ingrown hairs, which also has led to me having like, extreme amounts of dark marks and broken skin underneath i've been trying a new skincare routine trying to reverse the effects and like maybe lighten the area up especially at my neck but i have been using this first aid beauty ingrown hair pads don't use this stuff the day that you wax use it the day after like you let your skin heal close up do your skincare routine as normal do not apply this until the day after and i promise you your ingrown hairs, the current, the future, they're all gone, it's all erased within the week that I've been using this because usually by the time I like wax, the very next day there is at least five to six ingrowns. So, and I'm kind of getting over a case of them right now. This is just healing skin, they're not ingrown, this is healing skin because I just plucked the other ones out, but I am facing a little bit of growth and that's basically from the ingrown, so I'm just gonna 
do a little touch up I saw off so that tomorrow when I get my hair done everything is looking cute and then my upper lip I realized I didn't do it that well when I first waxed so yeah Now that my face is waxed, we're actually gonna get in the shower and we have to wash my hair because it's a little dirty and get it ready to be styled tomorrow. Alright 
right y'all so i am back home as y'all can see the bust down is in i'm feeling it it's 26 inches um hair is from nadula and honestly i don't even need to be brushing it i could literally glide my hair through my hands through it so smooth because it's super soft it's super shiny i love it it's flowy it's full there's four bundles in like i honestly didn't even need the four and on top of that she made four bundles look so fucking flat but yeah i feel like a bad bitch again and i'm very happy with the results of my maintenance vlog but anyways i think i'm gonna end the video here because honestly there is no more maintenance to do anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video and thank you for coming along with me on my maintenance week let me know what you guys want to see more of from me comment down below like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one Bye.